Alright you guys, bringing another salt water video here and this is going to be on soft cycling tanks. In front of me is my 4 gallon Pico tank, I got videos on it if you want to know a little bit more about it, but what a soft cycle is um, for salt water is that you just paid premium dollar for live rock and live sand and the traditional way of cycling the tank you know, states that you bring up the ammonia level to toxic levels and then you know, wait for the bacteria to be produced that will convert it into less harmful chemicals and stuff like that. But in the process, that live rock and live sand that you just bought, it's essentially going to kill all the life that's already on it and everything. So really with soft cycling, what you want to do is you purchase, you know, set up your aquarium, put water in it, put a substrate in it if you wish, put your live rock in it, and then you constantly monitor the ammonia level and make sure it never gets over 0.5 parts per million. Uh, that's the magic number right there. When you notice it, that it gets to that level, you do a pretty big water change. Normally, anywhere from 30 to 50% of the water is switched out on it. And what that does is it keeps the ammonia level at, you know, a survivable level for all the life in your tank and everything so that you don't waste, essentially didn't waste your money on the live rock and live sand. Uh, and that goes for, you know, live rock that has just been purchased and everything like that. Um, but what I did uh, is still referred to soft cycling, I believe. But with this tank right here, it was a new tank. And about eight months ago, I set up a nano reef. This is my Pico, but in my nano, uh, I put 20 pounds of live rock in it and it got cured, had coralline algae, bristle worms, feather dusters, um, all sorts of good stuff, you know, that, you know, grew on the rock and was established, you know, over those eight months. And what I did was I pulled about five or six pounds of that rock out of the nano reef and put it into my Pico right here. And the first day, it was just live sand, a little bit of live sand in there. It didn't really do much on it, just left the lights running and everything. And then day two, I put the live rock in and I experienced a jump in ammonia, maybe to 0.25 uh, parts per million. And, you know, that's just because there's a little bit of die off on the live rock just because switching it over to a new tank, you know, exposed to air, uh, a little bit different water parameters and stuff. I did not use the exact same water out of my old tank. So a little bit of die off, but this is the kicker. Um, day two comes along and I test the water again and it was zero ammonia, zero nitrate, zero nitrite. Um, everything was perfect. So my tank cycled in, well, I guess total days was two. Uh, but after I had the live rock, it did a 24 hour cycle, which was very, very nice. That means I could stock it with uh, some more life. And I proceeded to put three hermit crabs in there and two astrea snails. And again, even after adding five uh, larger creatures to the tank, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, all still stayed at zero. And then I, after that, added my mushroom coral rock and my rock of a zoanth that's up there, not quite open fully yet, but they've just been in there for maybe a day, a day and a half now. So uh, I'm going to give them a little bit longer to open up and everything, but... Yeah, that's soft cycling, guys. That's definitely the way I would recommend if you're starting a new tank uh, to cycle it. It's going to make sure that you preserve all the life that you can. And if you get really old, you know, cured live rock uh, that's been in a tank for quite a while, you can essentially have a very, very short cycle period, which uh, all of us, I'm sure, would like. Nobody likes to wait around to add fish and corals and stuff like that. So... Take it easy, guys. That was today's video, and if you have any questions, post a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Till next time, guys.